Right. What military group were you part of? Were you in the SGU or the Royal Lao Army? I used to the uh, Lao Army, just with the uh, training. And later in 1967, I rolled in the uh, SGU, CIA Army. What was your highest rank? Uh, my high rank is uh, uh, first lieutenant. What parts of Laos did you serve in? Served so in the Siang uh, Kuang area and to the uh, San Nui area. San Nui area is the uh, Pu Pati. Sam Nui is in Pu Pati? Yeah, Pu Pati. They, yeah, in the San Nui. When did you join the Lao Army? Uh, the Lao Army I, and CIA Army, I joined in the 1962, couple year, about 1963, and I went to, uh, to the uh, Lao Army training. They, they sent me to the Lao Army training. I training in the Vientiane a couple of years, and to uh, 1967, so I come back in Long Chen and serve in the uh, AGU. Okay, so let me get this right. Mm -hmm. In 1962, you join, join the Royal Lao Army. Did they recruit you or did you enlist because you wanted to? Uh, they in, they recruit me because the uh, war is coming. So, say the young guy had to go in the uh, uh, army. So, I go in the army. They, they call, uh, they say, they say uh, Lao Army. Then, uh, I Try in there, and then I went to the uh, uh, training camp. And the training for the Lao Army was um, in Vientiane? Yeah, in Vientiane, Pun King, Vientiane. And where, how long did you train? I think about two years, or oh, eight, 18 months. That yeah. was a long training. What did they teach you? Yeah, they teach to be the army and to be the uh, leader. And then after that, so I back and forth training and I go to school. And then 1967, I came to uh, Long Chen, come to us. Be the SGU. HGU, CIA Army. So you, you were in the Lao Army from 62 to 67. That was five years. Yeah. Um, in that five years, what did you do with the Lao Army? I, uh, the first two years, I just in the camp training. Yeah. And then the other year, I, uh, back and forth to the, uh, Long Chan and come back to Chan and go to school, about high, uh, high school. High school? Yeah. And 67, I rolled in the HU. Why did you change from the Royal Law Army to the SGU? Uh, because my uh, people or my parents this is in the uh, the north, so I have to come to uh, help my people over there. And the uh, uh, General Wang Pao, they uh, recruit me. Say you are more, you have to go help help him more and helping the American. Did General Van Pao come himself? Uh, no, they are, the, uh, his officer come to me and say that. And then I go long chain and see, uh, I went to see uh, General Van Pao. And then they say, okay, you are good guy. Come and join with my, uh, uh, HU, so I'm happy to help my uh, people over there. When you went to Long Chan and you 
volunteered for the SGU. Did you have to have more training, or did they not train you more because you already were trained? Uh, they they uh, trained me too. Take the uh, when roll in the army with the company, and then we go training too. Where did you go for your training with the SGU? The first train in a Padong, and when we go to the field, and we go combat, and then the uh, army, the, the soldier is uh, die a lot. And then after that, they say not train enough for the soldier. And then we can uh, come back to the uh, Meng Cha, and then uh, Meng Cha, there's a Lima Sai 113, I think. And then one three or one one three. One one three, and then we train over there, and we uh, recruit some other uh, soldier for four, uh, about five hundred four people, and then we go back to uh, in the field fighting too, and then after that we got uh, combat, and then a lot soldiers died too. So, some say come back, but some say we go to the pool party or some uh, my play my bone bone play, and then I stay over there uh, until the uh, North Vietnamese and Patel Lao come to take over the uh, pool party because the pool party they have the American CIA build the uh, radar on the top of the pool party. Okay, so let me go back. Mm -hmm. um, you were first trained for the SGU at Padang, and then you were, you were fighting there at Padang, but then a lot of soldiers were killed, and they said you needed more training? Yeah. You went to Mung Chi? Yeah. We are... Uh, Training in the Padong, and then we go to the field, uh, PDJ area, like, uh, yeah, PDJ area, and then we get uh, many soldiers get killed. Were they all mostly in the PDJ? Yeah. And then, then we, uh, they say we are not training enough, so we come back to the, uh, uh, Meng Cha, Lima Sai, uh, or one three. three, and after we train there, we go to uh, the uh, pool party. Oh, so then we, you went to pool party. Yeah, pool party. We now go on the top. We have the copper uh, village, and then the pool party is uh, higher, and then the other one is uh, below, and mm -hmm. we go stay in the below. So you were in the in the levels below. You weren't at the top of Pupati. Mm -hmm. At the top of Pupati is where the Americans had radar. Yep. Um, when you were trained, did they train you for any specific job, or were you trained to be a fighting soldier? Uh, fighting soldier. And then fighting soldier, they say, I had to train some before I young. And then now I have to be a uh, uh, lead with the uh, soldier, and then with the uh, the company, and then we go over there uh, to the pool party lower. Uh, then we go in in the lower land and we fight over there, and then a lot soldier is killed over there too. At yeah, in the lower Pupati. How big of a group or a base was was the Pupati base? You have uh, like hundreds or thousands? I think uh, the top Pupati maybe about thousand. Or oh, we low level is in my uh, company about two hundred go stay in there, and the other because they have a the uh, different company on the top and the low, uh, first low level and the third level is uh, 
is my company. What kind of weapon were you trained to use? We are trained to use uh, <coughs> uh, the uh, b they, they say uh, B forty and machine gun and one and two and seventy five and fifty seven and uh, like that. What's a B forty? B forty is just a the uh, short gun, and then they uh, uh, load the, uh, the. I'm I'm not sure what they call. And then we shot one at a time, like a like a like hand grenade, like oh. a hand grenade. Oh, oh, mm -hmm. a grenade launcher. Yeah, or... yeah. So it was like grenades that yeah. they were shooting? Yeah, and then they say they call B-40. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you remember any combat battles at Pupati or at Padang? Specific uh, battles, things that you recall? In the uh, Pupati, in the low level of the Pupati, we go uh, fighting in the field, have uh, all the size, uh, have a big mountain too, and then we go battle over there. And my soldier is, uh, got uh, have a shooting over there, and then my soldier is uh, die about 10. And then ten of your soldiers died. Yeah, I mean, I mean dairy, and then some is it uh, injured, and then we just uh, take them, come back, and call the uh, one o five. They want to pull a tea too, and then shoot to the uh, enemy, ta yeah, enemy, and then. Were the one o fives Americans? Uh, Hmong, and oh. yeah, Hmong. And the American, they have a, uh, like a, the training and the, uh, watch the uh, radar, something like that. And we had the uh, A4 come to uh, bomb at the, the target, the mountain too. Were any of your instructors American or Thai, or was your whole group Hmong? Uh, that Thai is uh, the Thai. The, the Thai yeah, the, instructor? Yeah, the first Thai is the Thai. When you were stationed at Pu Pati, was your whole unit of soldiers all Hmong, or were they Laotians too? Uh, Laotian too. Laotian and Hmong. How did the together. Laotian and Hmong speak two different languages? So how did you communicate? Uh, because our Hmong is a, most they uh, know uh, Laos, but Lao cannot speak Hmong. <laughs> so the Hmong, uh, now are you Hmong? Yeah. So I'm you Hmong. could did you so you knew Hmong and you also knew Lao. Yeah. You could speak Lao. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> Who was your commanding officer? Uh, that time is uh, they call a Zhuo Wang. Zhuo Wang. This I think it's a U or no? It's a Y U A. I think a Wang. That is the commander. Well, that was your first. Uh, it's the same last name as you. Is he a relative? Right, same last name. Is he a relative? Uh, yeah, we we call relative, but we each is a state. We each each other state. <coughs> Did you work directly with any of the Americans? Uh, the last time, yeah, when we. When uh, the Norwegian meet and Patel Lao can take over uh, Pupati, and we move back to uh, Nakang, 
na kang nit dai selima sai to de sek ai to ya were you at pupati when the pathat leo came to take it over yeah i not on the top i on the uh, low level well and you were there when they actually attacked it yeah what was that like oh that's a, we stay our side and we look at over there we saw a lot uh a lot row uh enemy shooting and they um my friends shooting and then after uh after almost midnight and we see the uh the light there is a uh, uh uh vietnamese they come to take over the the top of property and then they shoot the uh red one the the signal red one and then shoot the uh green one and then we know that they are over there why we, red one and then green one is a signal yeah and what does it mean I mean they the the red one they mean they fighting hard and still are friend my uh friendly stay all there and then the green one mean they take over that the patat leo took yeah, over yeah yeah patat leo take and uh, venami take over the top and then we know that when you saw that then did you leave pupati yeah and then we saw that and then we lead the pupati to the other place like a uh, to not to uh um hoi hin sa hoi hin sa de lima sai ai i not sure one one three or i not quite sure about that i i not quite sure that but you so but you all left yeah and we, then you went to a do, a different location right how far away there is about maybe 10 or 15 mile from the pupati did you walk? Yeah. We are uh, walk over there and all the soldier uh the uh they escape from Pupati, they walk over to my uh, location and we walk head together to uh uh Hinsa. And we work to the uh Hinsa I I'm, I'm not sure uh, the number. I, I'm not sure the number. I think uh, 225 or... Uh, I'm not quite sure that one. All right. Yeah. But, you, but so then all the people that escaped from Pupati went to Hoi and Sa. Yeah. Did you stay there? We stayed there for a couple of weeks. Way until the... Uh, soldier come uh come over and then the uh the family they they live uh, around that they come over too and then we just uh, leave some uh over there they have some uh, army too and then they stay there uh, waiting for the uh uh helicopter come to pick up the uh family or something like that and then they have enough soldier to cover and then we just move ahead to did you have your family at pupati no i have uh, my uh, cousin and some friend so the, the couple weeks that you stayed there you waited for all the other families and the other people that would escape um and then where did you go? And we're moving to the uh, to the uh, Limasai uh, 36, uh, Nakhang. Okay. We're moving over there, and then we're moving about a uh, couple days ahead, but we have some uh, very tired soldier, is something like that. Let's say we call the plane can pick our up to the... Uh, Nakang. And then we go over there and we stay over there about a couple of weeks too. 
Do you, do you remember what year this was? When did Pupati fall? Uh, I, I think maybe 60, 68. <clears throat> I'm not sure what, what uh, month, maybe March or I'm not sure. Of 1968. Yeah. And then we came to uh, Nakang. And we stay over there a couple weeks. And the uh, commander in the uh, 36 asked me to stay with them. And then my company that is the day take to uh, Long Chen and go maybe training again. So the rest of your company went to Long Chen? Yeah. Did you stay at Nanka? Na, uh, na, na, Nakang. Na Nakang, yeah, I stay in Nakang. What did he want you to, why did he want you to stay? They say, uh, I know about the uh, army training and lead some, some uh, soldier, something like that. And I can speak a little bit uh, American too. And I can talk and I can uh, talk to the pilot, something like that. And I have a two uh, two brother. Uh, they are F A C like a uh, fact. Uh, yeah fact. Fact pilots. Your two brothers were both F A Cs. Yeah. Did they fly planes? With yeah. Americans. Yeah, fly plane with American, and then they come over there, and then my commander asked them to stay. So. You and your two brothers were all in the same place together? Yeah. And my commander, uh, they just come, come to uh, Nakang and then they come back uh, to Longcheng. But my commander asked them to stay. Say, you know more, you have to stay. And then they stay that night. Uh, the uh, Patelau can take a row, sort of, sort of us and the other uh, company of the side, they come to take over the location and then they die and they escape, something like that, and steal our so location. So, the Leo attacked mm -hmm. Lima Site 36 when you and your brothers were there? Yeah, and then they take the some uh, location of, around that and then uh, the first night, and the second night, they come to take our uh, location, position, and then we had, and then the commander, my commander had injury, and then died, died a lot soldier over there, <laughs> and. <laughs> <coughs> And some we are in the banker, and then they should the uh, army soldiers die in there too. So I don't so know how to do. So you were in the bunker, yeah, and they were shooting. Yeah. Were you with your brothers in the bunker? Were you all three together? Yeah, and then we are safe. But later. And my brother called uh, dead there, and we, we called a uh, plane come to bomb around us. And then have one uh, security, have the big mountain outside, and uh, they come to uh, bomb around our uh, location. And then they're heading to the, our location and bomb over there, and then they shoot the uh, 12.7 to the plane, and then he, I think, hit the plane, and then the plane just to fly like that, and it just go like that down. Was then, it an American plane? Yeah. And it had come to bomb to, to save you? Right. To bomb the Patet Leo? But it got shot down? Yeah, they got shot down, and the, the plane just go like that, they shoot this way, they just like that. And uh, my brother, Talk to some someone say, "Think shut down." That that time is, uh, 
a little bit late afternoon too. And then uh, now it's no plan coming, no more plan coming. And then uh, we try to say every round or the, uh, the enemy says circle us, so we don't know how to do. They say we have to, uh, my brother contact the, uh, they call Alicat. They used to plan, fly at night, and then they say, um, we have to uh, stay in there. They will come help us. But we, we think we are not safe because a lot of soldier and uh, maybe a lot of contact, maybe, we, uh, maybe if we stay over there, we will all die. So we try to escape. Moving out, and then have a one is like a uh, have a map down the uh, the uh, the land, so we have to try to close the map over there to the other side, and then over there just you have, did this at night. Yeah. How many of you were survived that were even alive that tried to escape? Uh. Almost the uh, in the camp be moving, but the uh, follow us the uh, that they come and they they come to a uh, wrong way in the map and then they the map say they cannot come out and then they cry us help come help me come help me something like that and then the uh, enemy hear about that and then just to shoot round like that and everybody died in there too and then we each cross first and then shoot you very guys, so you guys crossed first yeah what did you cross uh the field yeah cross the field the map and then we cross our side, that side first yeah and then they come after and then they st start in the map so they cry for help, something like that, and call for help. And then we go over there, and then uh, the angel, the, my commander is an angel too, so we carry him over. And then now, very dark, so we don't know. We just move the other side, they, we don't know who, who, uh, where are you, and me. Just like that, in, in the uh, wood. So just to go in there, and then uh, we can call, say, Commander, you, where you are, you cannot uh, call because the, the enemy will hurt and will shoot us too. So just like that. And then we leave the commander over there with three soldiers, and then they came, the commander, after. So we have to go. And then we don't know. We just go the direction to the other location. Like we have a uh, three location, but the enemy already take over that first. Then come to us. <clears throat> and then the other uh, the uh, the soldier go up there, and then enemy just shoot round. Over there and over there, shoot the soldier, but I don't know. And then my uh, other two brothers and uh, two uh, Thai, and then they, um, we just lost. So They got lost? Yeah, I lost, they lost, I don't know where they are. And then... I uh, escaped from the uh Thet Lao and Vietnamese just uh, hiding for about two weeks. How many people were with you? Uh, three. Three with me, but we got shot and then they all died. All three of them? Yeah. And you I were the only the, one that Yeah, lived? the lucky one because... The first, I go first, and then they follow me, 
and then they shot, and then after I come back, they go first, and then the other enemy over there, then go and shot, they die, they yell over there, and then I just go out of the way, and then I come back, and then they heard me uh, run, and they shoot me too, but I lucky, not hurt. Very close to me, but so it didn't hit you. Didn't hit me, so I just fell down. Uh, listen, where is my friend? So they tell you yell over there. Help me, help me, over there, and the enemy comes say, "Are you die? Are you die?" Like that. Oh. Yeah, and then I just. Very, very uh, sad. So now I have only one, so I have to go. Listen the way the enemy are, and I skip that way, other way, go and very slowly. When you go someplace, they put a tank, like they have a tank, very, very low, like that. Oh, there, you just see, crown like the uh, the crack, bad. It's very slowly. So I escaped like that about three, four times. I so saw the one I escaped about two weeks. So un until but I go. You were out there by yourself yep. trying to escape for two weeks? Yep. What did you eat? Uh, the first time I have some uh, dry rice. I have a big, uh, big uh, coke. Yep. So I put three uh, paint over the uh, dry rice in there. After I eat that one, so I don't have anything to eat. So I eat the leaf, the uh, uh, banana leaf, and the uh, the young tree, something like that. And then uh, very slowly moving. At the daytime, you have to hiding and listen and the night you have to go go and very slowly go and a lot go over there you heard they caught over there I had to move out the side move out the side been pretty scary all by oh, yourself yeah. very very scared go out there slowly and then they yell, yell over there they are urine over there they urine over there i heard heard they yell uh, the urine is not very far very very close so they just uh, heard like that and then slowly come back something like that until, until uh, almost about uh, two or uh, almost a week, and then I go to the uh, village, and then the enemy in there, and the Lao Lao uh, Lao uh, villa, the Lao stay in there too. Uh, I don't have anything. I just have only one hand grenade and one pistol. And I just go out there, and then <clears throat> I just holding my pistol. I don't have anything to do with it. I go in the house. I just walk because I'm too hungry. I cannot walk. I weak. So I go to in the house uh, after the uh, after dark. So I go quickly in in the house. Cry in the the house. So. Have a in the house have a uh, have the three people. They have a one dollar, and I ask uh, the uh, father say, "I please give me some right." The father is very scared. They, they don't know what, how to talk how to, like that. And then the uh, the wife just uh, looking, and the the daughter know that I I need the right. 
said the daughter give me a right just a little bit right like that put my hand and I just grab the right and I get down and the dog is barking so I uh, say the, the dog our country say 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 that is mean star for the dog uh, and then I just walk and I know that in the in there they have an enemy in it. So I just walk quickly about uh, a mile and then they have a, a field, rice field over there. They have a, a little bit house in there. I just walk in. I say I will sleep in the house, but I think maybe they will look in the house. I look in the uh, rice field very close to the house. And then about uh, 20 minutes, and then I heard the uh, enemy can follow my, follow me, yeah. because I have the trail over there. And then they walk, I heard they walking over there. And then i very scared, I say, I don't know. I walk with them, maybe they stay over there I and mean, shoot me. Yeah, really, they shoot, uh, they stay over there. Have some uh, tree over there, very close over there. They stayed over yeah, there? Yeah, they now? stay over all night. All and night? I, yeah, and I stay over here all night too. And then, to, uh, at the day, uh, the light, early morning. So I, I can see far, so I go, and the enemy see, go too. They, they wait, and then they go, so I follow, I still see them. I still see them, so I hide. When they go, slowly moving, looking them, something like that. And then they go to the uh, have some driver, like that, they, the, uh, the trail to go like that, they, they go to over there and then the birds fly over there, the birds fly along the stream and then I know that they over there. So I follow, follow them and about maybe five, maybe three or five miles, I'm not sure. And then they have a farm, rice farm over there. And then they have some en enemy over there. They have a machine gun over there too. And then they, they say they have a five people or five enemy. They go. And then I just follow. I see them, but they never see the bear. So I yeah. just, yeah, they see. And then I'm moving. And then they go to the, uh, that, uh, um, uh, the army. So, they come back, still, still come see, uh, meet me over there too. And then the, uh, the river is like that, and then go like that. So I go over here, and they come over, they return. So I see them first, and then I run to the uh, bush. But no tree, nothing. Have a sun boat a little bit, and then I run hiding my head over there. I, I uh, holding my hand grenade, and uh, if they see me, I will throw the hand grenade and I will run and lie out there. And then <clears throat> they not see me, and very close like that, the street, and then. Uh, they didn't see me, they just watch like that. But then she fled and they just a little bit uh book uh, just hiding my head like that. So lie on that. Just uh, waiting. And then they pass. So I go over there. Go over there, have uh, a little bit uh uh heel uh cross. And then 
they have a banker over there. They, they just live. They live. If they stay over there, I, there, I never hear. They just live and then they have some, uh, have some pole and then they hand the, the gun over there and they just leave the, the banker and then I go to very crow like that because they put a leaf over the, uh, the soil, the, the, uh, um, that and then I didn't see. Just go and crawl like a couple yard in there. I I don't know what to do. Lie or that. So I go in the uh, some very thick bush. So lie in there. Over there have some uh, uh, the other side. Uh, bank of river and very thick so I uh, sleep snap over there a wash over there the uh, farm uh, rice farm they have much gun point to the uh, trail if they somebody come to the trail they get it. so the river over here and the trail over here they stay over there so how did you get out from and then the and I go to the uh, the boat yeah. and wait until dark. And then I slide that to the river. And I go in the river. I know that in the river it is more safe. And I go to the river about maybe 500 uh, yards or maybe... 200 yards, something like that. I think it will be safe. But I go to the uh, field. They have some <clears throat> banker for the uh, water. It's uh, run through, but it's dry. So I try to go in, in there, follow. But I go over there, they put a uh, stick across the, uh, the banker. I just look over there. They have a tank in the bank over there. So I just move it back like the crack, like that. And then very scary. Now I some uh someday, some night I still dreaming about that so I cannot sleep too. You still dream about that now? Yep. Well that was very, very scary. Right. You finally got to safety though? And then I don't know how to do. I just uh, try to uh, uh, hiding my uh, moving and slowly moving and very scared. And until moving until uh, the dark and then moving up to the little hill and then I'm all on the top but I scare maybe they on the top. I stay on the uh, side and then listen until the day. I listen and then quiet. So I cross the, uh, the hill, the uh, little mountain, other side, down, and then other side they have a farm, uh, uh, corn farm over there. And they have some uh, small house over there and then and go out there and go to the the house. They have have some more uh, family. They cannot escape, and then they come to live in there. But the enemy, uh, the Vietnam, uh, the Lao, but but the Lao is always out there every day. And a big farm, you know, and then they stay the uh, the uh, a little bit here like that, and then they stay out there and. They, the enemy is up there, and they watch. And then I don't know how to do it. Hungry, weak, I don't know how to do it. So I wear the, uh, the army cloak like this too. And then I go in there and I have a one uh, old man over there. They're very nice. 
Come on, they the same. Oh, a lot enemy. Oh, here. Be careful. Take your cloak out. So, my hair is long and uh, a lot thing in my head and dirty. So, oh, cannot do that. So, he take the very small scissors. He cut my hair around and then get the, uh, I take the claw out, get uh, him the, uh, only have one hand grenade and the gun or the uh, pistol. I gave for him, wrapped in my uh, cloak, and then he hiding some plate, and then he gave his uh, cloak to me. And cut my hair, and cut a little bit short, round, <clears throat> and uh, the uh, that afternoon, you see, quiet. Tomorrow, the enemy come over, and I escape to in the house. So I walk to the uh, hiding in the the uh, the bush of the uh, the farm. And I think maybe nobody coming quite, but I coming and then I got no shoe. You know, when we run over there and we have shoes or have a noise. We have noise and then we take the uh, boot out. So <clears throat> we don't have the boot and we just walk. The, the sack is all torn down. So we have to walk via food. So very hurt my foot too. So that time, uh, like a, maybe about three o'clock. So I walk in in the house and I put a stick like that. Come, then they see me. Then they uh, come so around the house. But in the the time they eat the uh, dinner, so I go in there and sit down eat with them. And they uh, one monk uh, Vietnamese and one Viet Vietnamese in the house, come, come in the house, and the author is outside, so they can look at, look at me like that, so i very scared, so I pretend a uh, family, so I, so I not, I pretend a uh, family, so I not scared them, so I, I just call a uh, monk, say, come on, eat, eat with us, I just say like that, and then the monk, Say to the Vietnamese, say, this right guy, the one we saw. But I, I know a little bit uh, Vietnamese too, so I know that. And then they speak Thai to me too. So I not answer, like I don't know anything, yeah. but I know. And they say like that. And then the children just call his father say, uh, Daddy, come help me, and my ball is not quite good. Up to you eat fit for me. So I just stop eating. I go to the kid. Oh, okay, I can feed your ball. We, I take the ball and we go outside. The corn is just say, this high. And we just say, go in the, uh, the corn. we hiding over there, play over there. And then they just later, about 10, 15 minutes, they walk out. So I was very scared. Very scared. And, uh, and then I go hiding in the, uh, the bush again. About one day, I think maybe they not come back. Later, I come back to the house because I only want. So I don't know how to go anyway. I stay there, eat until I stronger. I will move it out the plate. And then I heard the uh, the dog is barking. And then I looking. They come around the house already. And 
the the house have some porch out of, uh, between the uh, that one and the very old man stay out there and they just see uh, doing something in the store and then they have the they had a bed over there they they had a torn blanket over there too then I don't know how to do if they come sure they will take me off so I run in there I take the blanket cover my head and feet I just sleep like that cover but the blanket is torn so I see like that and then the but uh, Lao come to hold the door like that, looking over there, over there, looking at the old man, and look at me. They stay about a couple of minutes, and then I very scared. If they come to pull the blanket out, I sure die. But they just say turn, turn back. Very scared. They can look at it like that, so I wait until, oh, I'm waiting to die because if they put a blanket in me, it's not the old lady. They think maybe the old lady is sleeping there and the old man uh, sit down in the store. I, they think like that. So did you escape finally? Uh, and after they, uh, the enemy go. So I very scared. Take the blanket out. See they go over the uh the farm over there. I run to the other uh plate. And then I run over there about a couple of days, have two soldiers come over. Be because they run after us. They still hiding like me too. And then they very uh, weak and like and uh, no no sack, beer food, something like that. Nothing. And they come to and then oh okay, you over here too, me too. So we cook and eat and they about two 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 more days and then okay, stronger. We go. So we go out to play. We moving out of place. So uh, the other place, uh, Patelau can take over too. But they go take over the garden. And they waiting for us. And then we go about uh, one night and a day. Because we moving so slow and listen and looking. We over there and then now we go over there, we stay there for uh, two nights with our uh, soldier. And the third night, the, that day, we, the second day, we come to Long Check. They have a plan over there, we go Long Check. So you finally made it to Long Chen. That was a very long trip. Yeah, trip. yeah. And then, uh, and we go to Long Chang. And then that night, they say they uh, the enemy can fight. And then the soldiers die. Couple people, uh, couple soldiers too. So did your two lucky. brothers find their way back to Long Chen? Oh no, my two brothers are gone. We don't know, and the two uh, two Thai is missing, and my two brother is missing. You never found out. Never, what happened? never found anything, and later, some uh, woman they left, uh, just uh, they they lost, and then they go up there. They say they see. Uh, one is look like my brother dead. She saw him dead? Yeah, saw him dead. And the other two. But 
they don't know. So I believe that this is my brother. How long did you stay at Long Chen once you got there? And I go to uh, Long Chen about a uh, couple of days. So my my parent is in the uh, all the uh, place. So I go to my parent. Say I still like. So my brother um and my pa uh, parent they cry when I go over there. <coughs> and <clears throat> when I go over there, they more happy. And I go over there. I stay about two weeks, and then I come back to Long Chen. I come back to Long Chen, so I I talk to my friend. Say, my life, I I the soldier in in uh, soldier life is very hard and very bad. So. I never let my children or cousin to be the army. I say that, but uh, later, like uh, they, my uh, my friend or my uh, commander, they talk to me. Say, don't be scared. We go training something again. So about I come to a. Uh, live in the uh, long chain and go to the rad radio operator, uh, operator. So you became a radio operator? Yeah, and then, <clears throat> and like, uh, I, I don't know how long, but, and then they said, we need some uh, uh, to be a uh, radio operation, so. I say, okay, I want to do that. We'll be safe. So they say, you have to go to Thailand. I say, okay. I go to 18 months in Thailand to study English and to learn about uh, to be fair. Folks, a hey, growl. And for FAC? They say, uh, folks, a hey, growl. Or a, a guy. Oh, God, F-A-G, okay, yeah. forward year guy. Yeah. <clears throat> and then <clears throat> after I go learn all the training out there about English and to a uh, fact like that for 18 months, I come back long check. And I go to the, uh, and they come to long check and they say, okay, we will uh, test you too. So they take me the radio about the call the airplane, bomber, give the target, everything. They say, okay, uh, we about four people or four students we come to train over there. So uh, we three pass. And then I to be the uh, radio operator in the long chain. Uh, the first is uh, I work in there. They call red dog control. <laughs> red dog. Yeah, red dog control in the uh in there, and then that time because the fact is not too many in the in the uh in the uh line the front line. Right. So we just call over there. They get the uh the uh, map and we get for the uh, cricket or alicate. And they send the plane come to bomb over there. So later, say, okay, you work so good. So train you to go to the uh, the field and read the soldier over there. So I go over there and very long story, my story, <coughs> and. Um, I go over there, not very long, just about three or three or four months, not and not quite sure. 
and then the uh, the enemy can take over my location too. We have uh, two location, and they come to take over. Have one or five big gun all out the location, and my place here yeah, the uh, radio operation over there, and then they take over both same night, and then. My commander is dead over there, and one captain and a uh, couple of soldiers is all dead over there. And then, the, and then I don't know what to do. They just uh, throw the hand grenade all around us, and they shot at the soldier. And all the soldiers come to ask me, uh, they call radio operator. What are we going to do? I don't know how to do. I said, now we have to go escape. Go that way. I just point to them. And because that way is safer, because I stay all night and with the airplane. With the, uh, at night, they have some kind of drop the uh, flare for us too. And then, I, I know they, uh, which way we will go. And I have some uh, uh, dynamite out the side. Have the two dynamite out the, out the side. If the enemy cover up there, I kill them first before run. And then the uh, soldier go that way. And I wait until uh, the uh, commander and looking, they cry and some like that, and look at, can, can no help. And the soldier already died, couple, and the uh, captain died over there, but still not died, still yelling. But I can no help. So, decide to leave them. And I had to skate. I not uh, skate, maybe one, one, uh, Next will be me, so I had to skate. So I uh, throw some uh, dynamite over there, and then I will run. The same time, dynamite bomb, and then I run over there, because if some enemy over there, they will die, or maybe they scare. They run off the side, I had to run. Run about uh, 30 feet down, I, Stay over there, listen, and then the enemy should uh, come cry over and made, made the noise. They come up to, to the uh, the camp. So I had to slowly go down. And later in the morning, and that they come, it's midnight, the enemy come. And in the morning, so I listen. Have one uh, walk talk to me. So I see maybe uh, enemy or something like that. But our soldier. They were your own. Yeah, my our soldier come over here and say, "Who is that?" Yes, they say like that. He scared too. Me, come over here. I'm a radio operation. So it come to me. So I have radio. So we just walk in the uh, farm. The uh, the the have some uh, uh, like a um, field, and then we hiding all there. And they call the helicopter come pick pick up. So the helicopter picked you up. Yeah, and my friend. And where did they take you back to Long Chan? Yeah, take them back Long Chan. And over there, and my my friends is very scared. Come over there, they very scared. They he cannot walk. He cannot walk. He just kind of very weak. So I carry him like that, and go down the plane and leave for the uh, the uh, the shoulder to take them. And they say, "Are you uh, injury?" I say, "No, I'm strong." Just say like that. So I walk in the uh, office. 
So I say, I got nothing now. So I don't know what to do. Where's your commander? I don't know. Because the enemy can uh, shoot everywhere, so I don't know. So have one soldier hiding in the camp, hiding in the bunker. They can uh, have some uh, curtain. They uh, they the uh, bank of the uh, right. They uh, have a banker and they put the uh, the uh, bank of the right cover the wall, yeah. and he is hiding in there. Hiding in there, and he look at, and the uh, enemy can look at in there. See nothing. So he look at them, and then he look at just like that, and he look at the other over there. It wants a, over there. It's a guard over there, looking, and then he's uh, looking him. He looking up there. The uh, and then he just says, get out, run. And the dead one is a shoot him, but shoot to to the only hit the leg. And he run to the hill, and you see the uh, the commander is. A, Dead over there, and then he's uh, moving head to the other plate about maybe five or uh, maybe six or uh, eight miles over, and go up there, and then they uh, have our uh, soldier over there too. And then they, when they come back home, they say the commander I saw. The, Dead in the uh, under the hill, so they come back, take the commander. So very scared and very sad. So, Dua, after all this time, <coughs> and the United States, then when they pulled out of Laos, how did you get out of Laos? Oh, okay. I have very some long story. Still one very scared that too about uh, in the Plan Deja. I have in there with the Thai uh, army in there too. So uh, very long story too. Every shot of there all the Thai. Uh, I just get them out about 30 people and the other is left behind all lost. So never seen him. And then the last time I just get the uh, PDJ area, come to Long Chang. And then when the uh, Americans say pull back, so we know that is a, we cannot stay over there. We are very dangerous people. So um, we had to find out the, the way to get out. They say the only one way we had to uh, go to the Thailand because Thailand I be friend. So did you go to Thailand? Yeah. How did you get there? Uh, when Jerry uh, Wang Pao and the uh, the officer they fly the plane cross. To the uh, Thailand, I just uh, call with my friend. Say nobody now. Have only uh, uh, some people left. So we uh, go down. We never on uh, in the camp anymore. So I have to go too. I have to stay about maybe twenty, thirty miles away from Long Chen, and then have some. Uh, I mean, over there too. And then, uh, I just say, go. I will go to see Long Cheng how they doing. So I come back. And then they come over, they say, nothing. Nobody left in there. So we have to go to uh, Nasu. Nasu, they, they uh, joy day, we, we go to Vientiane. And then we go to Vientiane. And then that, that time, 
they see if you carry some uh, army uh, soldier boot or belt like this, they still take you. So take the belt out, everything you can see with some regular clothes, something like that, and go to the uh, uh, Vientiane. And come to, uh, to Vientiane, we come to the, uh, the bus. And then they can tr check everybody. And then if they see some, this have something, they take, I don't know where they take. And then I come to mention my parents over there and my brother. That night I come to, so I say, okay, you ready? We have to go Thailand because we can, cannot stay anymore here. Then I will prepare everything and then in the early morning, we take the truck to the uh, bank over the uh, Mekong. I have some, uh, some bowl, some, uh, some bowl, yeah, we call some bowl, small, yeah, so got, yeah, yeah. And then they uh, crawl to uh, Thailand to uh, Laos, they send the, uh, sell the uh, vegetable. And we, after they take the vegetable, we go in there and go back to Thailand. So when we go back to Thailand, oh, we feel very happy. Like we. What year was that? Uh, 75. <clears throat> 1985, oh, 75. Yeah, 1975. Oh, for March, uh, April, and uh, May, something like that, so we crossed. And then when did you get to the United States? Uh, 19, 1976, oh. March 1976. And we came to uh, North Carolina. So we very, very happy. But... And you've been in the United States ever since? Yeah, and I never go back. So every, my friend or maybe uh, my friend and some friend, they go back to Lao back and forth. They say, well, no you problem. You haven't been back? I never. But this year, I think I will try visit Lao. Oh, that'll be exciting. Because we have some uh, cousin over there, have some friend over there. I think we'll try one more time. Because about 30, 40 years, I never go back, so. Well, that'll be very exciting for you. Yeah, and then uh, my, I say to that, to my uh, doctor, they say, uh, my doctor said, are you go uh, over there and be sad or to be happy? I say, I will go happy. I never go back to the, my old place. Because you go to all place, you will very sad. Yeah. And I will go to all the place. A nice mountain, my, my people, new place. So I will be happy. Say, so you were right. Wow. Well, I want to thank you for <laughs> sharing your story. Okay. Thank you very much.